BBC Weather Alert from Andy's Randomness. All right, good morning, everyone, and I want to quickly apologize about Travis Scott playing in the background, but uh, YouTube shouldn't claim copyright. It's only like one second. But anyhow, back to serious note here. Florida Panhandle is facing a very dangerous situation today as Hurricane Michael, as you're seeing on your screen right now, and this is one of the latest images I got from the National Weather Service online. Took this image this morning. I downloaded it. As soon as it came off the presses, this is the newest picture that everyone's using online to talk about this storm. Because right now, in the Florida Panhandle, they are reporting that they are feeling the tropical storm force winds. And we are facing a very dangerous situation down there because this storm, as of 8.30 Eastern this morning, 7.30 a.m. Central, is now a Category 4 storm. This is one very dangerous storm the Florida Panhandle is facing. I got an advisory from National Hurricane Center. Uh, located about 90, 90, 90 miles south-southwest of Panama City, Florida. Recently reported sustained winds of 60 miles an hour and a wind gust 76 miles an hour. A wind gust to 54 miles an hour was recently reported at Acapuchia Regional Airport. Here's the cone of uncertainty. By 1 o'clock Eastern, everybody's right about this, <clears throat> the Florida Panhandle will see a direct hit from a Category 3 or a Category 4 storm. Uh, I'm hoping it does not gain in strength because if we go to Category 5, folks, Panhandle's going to see something very catastrophic. And even if a Category 4 does come, it's still going to be catastrophic. So either way you look at it, those wind gusts are going to be the big problem. This issue, um, the advisory for Michael was issued at around uh, 5 a.m. So I'll read this right now. Here are some key messages. Number one, life-threatening storm surges likely along portions of the coast of the Florida Panhandle, Big Bend, and Natural Coast, where a storm surge warning is in effect. The worst storm surge is expected between Trindell Air Force Base and Keaton Beach, where 9 to 13 feet of indication is possible. Michael is likely to produce potentially catastrophic wind damage for the core of the hurricane moves onshore in the Florida Panhandle. Everybody in the hurricane warning area should prepare for life-threatening hurricane winds. Dangerous hurricane force winds will also extend well inland across portions of the Florida Panhandle, southern Georgia, and southeast Alabama as Michael moves inland. Heavy rainfall from Michael could produce life-threatening flash flooding from the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend region into portions of Georgia, the Carolinas, and southeast Virginia. Tropical storm conditions will likely affect portions of the southeast U.S. coast from northeast Florida through North Carolina, and tropical storm watches and warning are in effect for these areas. And like I figured, I know I'm keeping an eye on the radar very closely because one of the bands from the storm Michael could end up being a tropical depression and heading south in a southeastern direction into Delmarva on Friday, which um, that's what I am worried about for, of course, my fans down in uh, Sussex County and Warchester and Wilcomico, because honestly, uh, it's going to be an issue down there if the rain comes, because we saw what happened in pretty much we saw what happened in Kent earlier this summer with the flooding. I don't want to see it again. All right, Delaware has just been a lot of bad luck with the flooding in the past couple of years. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's never been this bad in the whole state. But Here is what I got from NewOrleans.com. So overnight, this storm, Hurricane Michael, strengthened to a Category 4. Forecasters said earlier this morning, we're on October 10th. Today's Wednesday. They described the storm as extremely dangerous and potentially catastrophic in their morning advisory. 
As of 7 a.m., the major hurricane was 90 miles southwest of Panama City, Florida, and 90 miles southwest, west southwest of Acapulia, Florida. It's moving north at 13 miles an hour. So like I assumed, this is going to be moving very quickly. Maximum sustained winds have strengthened to 145 miles an hour. Additional strengthening is possible before landfall. Now, on the scale of hurricanes, Category 4 storms have winds of 130 to 156 miles an hour. This is what I'm worried about. What if this becomes a Category 5? I'm hoping not in this case, but... Category 5 storms start at 157 miles an hour. After landfall, Michael should weaken as it crosses the southeastern United States. So as 6 a.m. Central, tropical storm force winds have been reported. On the forecast track, the eye of Michael is expected to move ashore over the Florida Panhandle later Wednesday, move northeast across the southeastern United States Wednesday night and Thursday, and then move off the mid-Atlantic coast away from the U.S. on Friday. So there you have it, everyone. That's the morning update for this storm. Once again, I'm going to show you it from the infrared radar. A quick view of it. There it is this morning, folks. So the entire country is going to be keeping an eye on the storm. That is a guarantee. If it's not, I mean, if the country's not keeping an eye on the storm, I don't know because this is historic. Forecasters say that this is the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall in the month of October. And remember, Sandy was a Category 2. So if anything, what we learn from these storms, uh, Florida's going to get Florida's gonna get slammed. And don't get me wrong, Sandy was bad enough here in New York, but this one's going to be just as bad too, but e even worse than what Sandy did. So that's the morning update. I'm hoping I can come back um, from work later on and I can get you another update. So that's it. Keep an eye on the storm if... Uh, you know, you're down there. Obviously, if you are down there, you're not going to have any power. So if you are watching this on LTE and you're still miraculously surviving, I applaud you for that, even though you should have evacuated. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, please take care.